All right, guys, I have here a discontinued, nearly extinct, crust shred eagle hardtail in medium. Built by our good friends over at Fabrica de Rosa. Summon your eagle powers. What do you think I am doing? I was fortunate enough to come across this rare find and snatched it up faster than you could say. I want a queen! It's stated as having a 67 degree head tube angle, according to Bike Insights, with a BB drop of 46 millimeters and has a zippy chainstay length of 420 millimeters. This frame was originally designed for a 120 millimeter fork and 26 by 3.0 plus tires but I have it here built up as a 650B, running a 140 millimeter travel fork, and I'm able to run up to 2.8 inch tires, which I have had on before. As shown here, I have 650B by 2.6 inch tires, front and back. It has a very playful ride, sort of like a very slack BMX bike. And with the plus size tires, it gives you the confidence to charge down some of the gnarliest trails you can find or should I say, dive down. Okay, let's start with the cockpit. I have here the Smooth Move Low Rise Bars in silver, made by Nitto for Hunter Cycles. I really like the slight sweep the bars have and it has a nice width of 780 millimeters. And they are clamped on to a 50 millimeter Paul Components boxcar stem in black. Uh, these new black paw stems come in sort of a matte black instead of a gloss Which some might prefer, but I don't know. I'm sort of feeling the matte look For the grips I went with my usual go-to SC uh, chunky grips in black and For the dropper post trigger I went with the paw components in gold which Matches very nicely with the gold Chris King tapered headsets For the drivetrain and brakes, I pulled out some goodies from my parts bin and I put together a little combo of SRAM Eagle GX shifters paired with an XO1 rear derailleur and a GX 12 speed 10 by 50 tooth cassette. Uh, I lost the derailleur bolt for this shifter, so I went shopping around and I found a gold xx1 derailleur bolt and i said all right why not you can never have too much gold am i right for the cranks i have here a pair of x01 on a 30 tooth x01 chain ring and for the pedals i went with a locally made yoshimura chileo in large with gold pins and their HQ and factory is located just a few blocks from my house here in Chino. So I was able to go and pick these up right off the factory floor. Well, sort of. For the fork and dropper posts, I went with Fox. This is a Fox Factory 34 with 140 millimeters of travel. And the seat post is a Fox Transfer dropper with 175 millimeters of travel. The saddle is a Cambium. C17 with cutout for that added cush. The wheels I have here are the NV650B M635s, which have the 35 millimeter internal rim width. The M6 is their trail cross country line and it comes in 30, 35, and 40 millimeter internal rim widths. I've had 30 millimeter wheels and they're totally fine for the trails I ride, but I'm really loving the extra traction I'm getting from these paired with 2.6 inch tires. The front here, I have the Maxxis Minion DHR2 and the rear, I have the Maxxis Dissector 
why I went with this particular tire combo could be a whole other video but to sum it up I like the grip the Minion DH2 offers for the front without being overkill and the speed and the lightness of the dissector for the rear brakes I went with a pair of older Shimano XTR M9000 with XTR rotors in 160 uh, I could probably use bigger rotors but being a big boned guy but so far these have been handling things all right a couple of nice little heirlooms courtesy of Kyle at LA LA oh yeah the handlebar bag handlebar bag is from Midnight Capers Essentials collection that just dropped and it's made in Los Angeles by Yonko there's also the saddle bag which I have here and the stem bag which I couldn't get because it was sold out. And I think that's it. Go ahead and throw any questions or comments below and I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Those eggs were a lie, Steven. A lie! They give me no eagle powers! They give me no nutrients! Sorry. <laughs>